Good morning guys, it is uh, just before 6 in the morning and I'm off to take some pictures here in Lagos. I'm gonna go pretend I'm still a travel photographer. Let's talk really quick about my travel photography career or whatever's left of it <laughs> because I, I honestly don't know what it is right now. I've basically lost my entire uh, travel photography client base because of the current pandemic. Everybody's kind of just waiting, you know, nobody has any money, everybody's just holding on and I lost an entire year's worth of, of income. And if it wasn't for YouTube, if it wasn't for this channel, I don't know how I would be surviving as a business. It's been an absolute battle. I think since the since this has all started in the past six months, I've probably made two to three thousand dollars from travel photography directly. I sold a cover image for a magazine and then one other thing. And that's it. And I kind of feel like I've been struggling with my identity as a photographer recently. Am I a landscape photographer now? Am I still a travel photographer? I'm just waiting. Am I a YouTuber? Am I a blogger? Am I an entertainer? I honestly don't know because I, for 10 years I've been a professional travel photographer and this past year I've been a travel photographer-ish but I don't feel like I've been a professional because I just haven't made any money from it. So it's it's kind of been a weird thing and I'm kind of just kind of going to get around it today by pretending it still is all okay and that I, I'm gonna just kind of do my job the way I used to even though I don't have an assignment and even though I'm not traveling and this is my new hometown. Okay, so I have a couple photos I kind of want to make this morning. Uh, this is one of them right here. I think I just, I took a photo of this when we were walking back from dinner the other day on my phone. And I think it'll probably work. The only issue I'm seeing is the street lights kind of in the way, but I think I can work with this. It's uh, just starting to be blue hour here. It's definitely already blue hour that way. So get the camera set up and Take a first photo. So just waiting on the exposure. I don't think the photo is as good as I thought it was. It, it's not bad, just this street light is right in the frame. So I, I have to be way wider than I was hoping to be. And it, it's, I mean, it's an okay photo. It's not as special as I was hoping, but still, you kind of need photos like this in your portfolio. When you're selling images as a travel photographer, you can't just shoot hero images. You need images of the streets, you need images of blue hour, you need, you need photos like this. So, yes, it's not the perfect photo, but uh, it's, all, it's definitely needed in my travel photography portfolio from here in Lagos. The setup's super simple. I'm on my 15 to 35 millimeter lens, f11, 30 seconds. Technically it looks fine, but just a pretty average photo, I think. Okay, since that photo wasn't quite as good as I hoped, I'm gonna head to another spot that I know that's kind of a similar photo. You'll hear people on YouTube and photographers everywhere telling you that you need to take your time, you need to be patient, you need to work through images, you need to go to one location and focus on making one really beautiful photo. And that's definitely true, but Travel photographers don't always have that luxury. Normally we have pretty limited time and places and we have to make the most of it. So we have to photograph two, three, four, five locations in a morning. And to do that, you have to come up with a, like a shoot plan before you go out. You have to think what's gonna look best 
blue hour, late blue hour, sunrise, and then even after sunrise. And then you kind of have to just, you know, almost make yourself a treasure map of how to accomplish three or four or five photos in one shoot. So um, even though I don't need to be doing that, that's kind of what I'm doing this morning. future studio and gallery right here. We actually get the keys for that literally this week. So excited. It must be stylish to want to be good. It must be stylish. So this is the street that I love. You can see it behind me. But as I'm here with my camera, I don't think it really works as a photo because you have this big white boring wall on this side and the church tower is not lit up. But I'm gonna keep walking because there's another angle that might work a little bit better. So yeah, this is such a cool part of the city. All these weaving alleys, cobblestone roads leading to all these churches. I love it. having a, a bit of bad luck this morning. As soon as I press the shutter to start the photo, they turn the lights off. I, there's not some dude like with a light switch that was just like, this dude's about to take a picture. I'm assuming they're just set for 7 a.m. and it's 7 a.m. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't get the photo in time. So the photo went from being very colorful looking to now pretty bland looking. It might now have to even be black and white. I'm just gonna have to come back and photograph this another time. As a travel photographer, you don't always have that luxury. As somebody living in this awesome city, I do. So I've been hoping for and planning for this photo since I first came to Lagos, but the situation's just never been right. So it's been too clear or there's been too much wind, but it looked like the conditions were gonna be perfect this morning for this reflection shot. You have the church here. There's a water pool that when the water's low enough, whoa, it's full of flies, what the? Oh my God. This is gonna be a mission. Anyway, when the water levels are low like this, you get these really cool reflections. Uh, I don't know if the sunrise is gonna be nice. It's pretty hazy off that way, but it's still worth a shot if I can get through whatever all these flies are. Man, I hope these flies don't bite because there are so many of them. Uh, I think this photo is gonna be, uh, I think I'm gonna have to come back another day because I didn't realize it, but they've started this concert series on the lawn in front of the church and they've built like a st stage and they've built all this like advertising for it and stuff. And it totally, totally ruins this photo. So even if I get light, this isn't gonna work but I'm gonna kind of treat this as a testing photo. Uh, I think it's probably gonna be a pano crop because you have this beautiful light that's leaking in from this side at sunrise, and then you have the cathedral, and it kind of just, it's all kind of squeezed in the middle of the frame. So the sun's just coming up. Uh, you can maybe see some light starting to hit me. It's beautiful that way. But the clouds are so low this morning that none of them are getting underglow. So I'm being hit by light, but somehow the bottom of the clouds aren't. There is some light hitting the building now, which is helping the photo quite a bit. The clouds are moving quick. 
and with a longer exposure and quick moving clouds you can get this motion in the sky that looks awesome so uh, i think this is going to help make the photo i can't really tell which way the clouds are moving yet i think they're moving across the image but it kind of gives some motion to an image and let's see how this came out so it's 30 seconds f11 six stop nd and two stop medium grad and yeah that motion all all the clouds point directly to the church it's almost like it's meant to be. I, I like this actually, I really, really like that. So the good news, the good news is that that was a really beautiful morning. It was so nice to get out and take pictures. Uh, it was really like the perfect weather for photos, other than the fact that we didn't really get the underglow. But just, it was nice to wear a jacket and it was nice to wake up a little bit later for sunrise here at the start of fall. Uh, from a photo standpoint, it wasn't great. It, just the light didn't behave, the locations didn't behave. It just, it didn't work. But living somewhere, I have the opportunity to try again tomorrow if I really want to. Uh, this whole situation with, you know, the world and the past six months has been crazy. And for me and my business, it's been beyond weird. I already have a job that has so much, you know, job security anxiety. And as travel photographers who make their living because they're fairly popular we already deal with what we call imposter syndrome and i definitely have imposter syndrome i've always had imposter syndrome and i've always struggled with anxiety as well and it's been a tough six months for sure but this community has definitely helped get me through it just having fun and going out and taking pictures even if they're not for clients has gotten me through it and one of the important lessons that i've learned and i hope that you guys can learn through this is that just because you're not being paid for something doesn't mean you're not going to earn money from that later these photos that i've taken over the past six months hopefully i'll be able to sell at some point to someone once people start buying images again and the other lesson is even if you're not selling anything, just learning is such an important thing. And every time you go out and shoot photos, you learn. And finally, just a thank you to you guys, because you guys are awesome. And I'll be back with another video pretty soon. Peace.